In today's video, we'll be doing a problem from the Putnam Math Competition. It's question number B1 from the year 2007. The question states, let f of n be a polynomial in n with positive integer coefficients. Prove that f of f of n plus 1 is divisible by f of n if and only if n equals 1. And then there's a note that we have to assume that f of n is non-constant. So let's get started. So first off, we have f of n equals a plus bn plus cn squared plus dn cubed, and so on, to the highest degree of this polynomial. So we have f of f of n plus 1 is going to be a plus b times f of n plus 1 plus c times f of n plus 1 squared plus d times f of n plus 1 cubed and so on basically we just replace n with f of n plus 1 okay so now we have to prove something first so we have to prove that f of n plus 1 raised to k where k is any positive integer is congruent to 1 mod f of n so first off, let's prove that f of n plus 1 is congruent to 1 mod f of n. So we have f of n plus 1 divided by f of n, and this is just 1 plus 1 over f of n. Therefore, we have that f of n plus 1 is indeed congruent to 1 mod f of n. And now all we have to do is raise both sides to the power k. So we raise this to k and since 1 raised to k is always simply 1, we've thus proven that f of n plus 1 raised to k is always going to be congruent to 1 mod f of n. All right, now let's get on with the proof. So we had that f of f of n plus 1 equals a plus b times f of n plus 1 plus c times f of n plus 1 squared and so on. Now, in this, in the first case we have k equals 1. In this case we have k equals 2 and then we have k equals 3 and so on. Now we've proven that for all k f of n plus 1 raised to k is going to be congruent to 1 mod f of n. So this means that b times f of n plus 1 is going to be congruent to b times 1 mod f of n. Similarly, c times f of n plus 1 squared is going to be congruent to c times 1 mod f of n. And this follows for D, E, F, and all the, all the letters. So basically, we get left with is that F of F of N plus 1 is congruent to A plus B plus C plus D all the way to whatever the last letter is, mod F of N. And now, let's recall what f of n was in the first place. So we have that f of n was a plus bn plus cn squared plus dn cubed and so on. And right now, we're getting a remainder of a plus b plus c plus d. So actually what we have is a plus b plus c plus d divided by a plus bn plus cn squared plus dn cube plus some quotient which is dependent on n. Let's just call it q of n. We don't really need this guy over here. So in order for f of f of n plus 1 to be completely divisible by f of n, we have to have that this remainder divides out. So the only way that it divides out is if bn equals b and cn squared equals c 
And from the first example, you can see that the b's cancel off and you get left with n equals 1. And now let's test it out. So we have a plus b plus c plus d all the way to the last letter divided by a plus b times 1 plus c times 1 plus d times 1 and so on. And you can clearly see that this cancels off and gives us a quotient of 1 plus q of n. And since q of n is a integer, therefore we know that f of f of n plus 1 is indeed only congruent to 0 mod f of n when n equals 1.